welcome to genuine car guys in the last video i have shown how to use this translate transition for moving the button around in this javafx window and in this video i will show you how to use the scale transition for changing the size of this button i mean scaling this button so in this video what i am gonna do is i am gonna apply the translate transition for moving from here to here and simultaneously i'm gonna apply the scale transition in order to increase the size so let's do the coding so this was the part and i don't want this uh, uh, handler so it's transition dot play and you can see that in the java fx dot animation dot animation package there is a scale transition so that's what we are going to use here and i'm gonna make a an object of scale transition so scale transition transition one equal to new scale transition so just like before we can use the set duration and set node instead i'm gonna decrease the number of lines so uh, duration dot seconds and i'm gonna set it to five seconds actually i don't want five i want three so okay duration dot seconds three then the button is passed and next thing i want to do is i want to increase the size right so i'm gonna set the transition one dot set to x so in the x axis i want to double the size of my button so i have set it to two and in the y axis also i want to set the size to double the original size and that's pretty much it i think transition one dot transition one dot play so we can pass it uh, right here and when we give this to dot play button it is gonna play simultaneously that's we will get a combined animation of this translate transition and scale transition but this is definitely not the right way to combine transition for that we have a parallel transition which i will cover which i will cover in the very next tutorial so for the first for the sake of simplicity let's run the code so you see we got the animation a combined animation of translate transition and the scale transition so if you guys want to decrease the size of the button or any component then you can use a value between 0 and 1 so suppose i want to set it to half in both the axis so i have set it to 0.50 so that's it its size is decreased to this one and uh, that's fine uh, if you want to if you uh, set this to some kind of minus value suppose say minus one then you can see that the button will go flipping so this is it it actually below z zero so it decreased then it went through a, a 180 degree change a 180 degree rotation and we will get some kind of mirror image so that's it that's how we use the scale transition and just like we have done earlier you can give translation one dot set on finished for listening to the completion of the trans uh, uh, tra translation animation so that's pretty much it i think so thank you for watching in the very next video i will show you how to use the parallel transition to combine two or more transition thanks for watching